The most important thing for me is that I'm making work to have conversations with other people. We own what's in collections. We own these public spaces funded by public money. And I want a black audience to feel that by seeing your history or your experience happening in the room that you're in. The main themes of my work centre around belonging and contribution. I'm very passionate about people of the black diaspora feeling that wherever they are, there's an ability for us to belong, that our contribution to the cultural landscape, to the history of a place generally is acknowledged. Then there's kind of room for dialogue and progress. Fashionable marriage is essentially my immersion in the 1980s. The characters are taken from the Hogarth painting, Marriage à la Mode. The scene takes place in the Countess's bedroom, the night after she's slept with her lover, Silver Tongue the lawyer. The Countess became Mrs. Thatcher, Silver Tongue the lawyer became Ronald Reagan, Castrati, became the art critic. It's a piece about the hypocrisy of the art world and the teetering on the edge of incredible political danger in the wider world. Those two situations were to blame for each other in, in some senses. I found myself, and I still find myself, at the center of that storm. One of the most important things about revenge is that it is a conversation about conversations. There are a series of paintings inviting audiences to step into the painting. I used painting to fill in the gaps in the history of British painting, but also to tell a story of the slave trade and to show that black women were engaged in strategies with how to deal with that, but that in order to engage in those strategies, we needed to invite more black women into the conversation. So there's a gap at the table for audiences to join. You can see in many, many paintings in, in European galleries an aristocratic family and one slave servant either holding the horses or holding a tray or holding a teapot. Naming the money is gathering all those people together. They're talking to each other. They're telling each other their own story. Each one of these figures has a name that is their real name, a name given to them for convenience, the kinds of activities that they and their family used to do, and how they still retain some of that integrity of their real self. And that's what gives each one of them the strength to carry on. I guess all my broader concerns are really brought together in naming the money. There is the participation of an audience, an attempt to understand how to achieve belonging, and that the acknowledgement of one's contribution historically and currently is essential to the richness and the nourishment of a place. In all our lives, the political drama absolutely collides and crashes into one's personal everyday. 
But I guess I'm hoping that my every day, my work as a teacher or my work as an artist can have some effect on the politics. I think these are dangerous times, but there are always invisible strategies that we can still put into place.